many people have the experience they want to learn a new language and you know they go somewhere and they get really excited and they buy the book or they go to a course and then they open the book and they're like okay I must be stupid you know I don't get anything language teaching is done notoriously badly and I wanted to show that there is another way and the way we're learning the language is really dissecting it to its smallest pieces and then building it up together through a series of mental exercises in a way that makes sense for that specific language I mean to speak about the language transfer project and the methodology is to teach a language uh, a lot of content in record time but it's not just about the content that's just half of the journey the other half of the journey is the way you learn how to think about language uh, how to have a new relationship with information generally not memorizing information but thinking about it uh, from many different angles which allows you to internalize it so we look at all we look at many different linguistic points of interest in the journey of the course which helps us assimilate and remember what we're learning but without the memorization paradigm when you memorize something you borrow it when you understand it you really take it it's really yours in the workshop today we were pulling all kinds of uh, linguistic issues in looking about uh, linguistic determinism about the personality and the value system of a language we looked from many different angles the experience of language and in the courses as well people learn to have a more intimate relationship with their own language so learning a language this way also takes you on a kind of linguistic journey through which you become more in touch with language generally more in touch with the language that you're speaking already and more in touch with the language that you're learning now in a context like the Cyprus problem or in the problems that we are experiencing all over the world which come from national identities which are inventions which are stories that we're told our language contradicts them all when you look at the language and you see what comes from Arabic and what comes from Latin and all of the the mix that you have in one language is b betraying the idea of a homogeneous national identity and when we learn it taking stock of all of those differences and where they come from and using them also as learning mechanisms to learn more okay this group come from Arabic and how and why and why is that interesting you really get a sense of your plurality the interconnectedness of your culture and the symbiotic nature of your culture and this is something that we need to understand in Cyprus there is no Greek Cypriot without Turkish Cypriot there is no Turkish Cypriot without Greek Cypriot without Maronite Cypriot without Latin Cypriot we don't exist because our cultures are symbiotic that is very clear in the language so whether it's with these specific courses for the Cyprus project or whether you are downloading a Spanish or an Arabic course this becomes very clear you're not learning a foreign alien language you're learning something you kind of know already that already forms part of your language is already part of you and you're making it yours you're taking this ownership of it when you do that you also identify more with the host cultures for that language you extend your sense of self you start to understand that this forms part of me and what we really need to understand in this really complicated time that we're in is that our well-being as well as our languages and our cultures are symbiotic our well-being is symbiotic we cannot be well if our neighbors are not well so for me it's really an activism to teach languages in this way and to foster this plural identity which is much more in touch with reality than the fantastical ideas that we have of homogeneous national identity which are extremely new if you look at human history so it's a very complicated thing to speak about the funding mechanism and why I don't want to participate in it I'm not asking for this funding because I want to show that we should be participating in civil society because we want to because we understand that it belongs to us and we belong to it we have a terrible situation in Cyprus that everybody feels like my world is my Mercedes and my house and the street doesn't belong to me and the park doesn't belong to me and that tree they're cutting down over there that's been there for a hundred years doesn't belong to me it does and you belong to it and you are part of your society and when you take control of that then we will start to see different habits in our in our social makeup a greater level of interconnectedness and cooperation and happiness language transfer is just me and my computer I make the website myself I have some occasional volunteers that do odd favors that write to me from all over the world that want to help out I sustain it giving private classes and with uh, donations that might come through the workshops and I mean okay it's slower than it might be getting this funding but when I'm making a course I'm thinking of the best course I'm not thinking of uh, the course that's going to make the UNDP report happy I just get incredible feedback all the time you know people are really shocked and you know you saw after 10 minutes everybody is locked
για τις εισηγήσεις και οι ιδέες σας στο τηλέφωνο μας είναι 2286 23 48 και το ηλεκτρονικό μας ταχυδρομείο bizartcypc.com.cy Biz Emis programı için irtibat telefon 00357-2286-2348 Elektronik posta biz.cybc.com.cy 